Hello and welcome to this Murph AI text to speech tutorial where I'm going to show you how to take some text and turn that into a cool speech using AI. So if you'd like to follow along with me, I will put a link in the description. They do have a free trial. So consider this not only to be able to get started, but even if you're using this already and kind of want to know how to get started from square one, this is going to be helpful. Let's begin. So first thing you want to do is create a new project. So we're just going to do that. Call it text to speech tutorial. Click on create project. And there's probably one or two things you're going to need first. Obviously, is going to be text. If you have an idea of what you're going to write, that's good. If not, you might have to write some text in there. Obviously, you can explore around and maybe just do a few paragraphs like I'm going to be doing in this video so you get the idea. Either way, what I did is I used Jasper, a completely different AI software tool, of course, and I just got some sample uh, content there. So what I'm going to do is paste it in. So what we need to do is we click on here, enter your text here. I'm just going to do Control V, and there we have it. So... What we also want to do is going to be choosing who we want to use. Now, so far, Martin, I think, has been probably one of the best. I'm going to go through a few of these, just kind of give you an idea of the voices that come along with this. It says choose from 120 plus voices in 20 languages. Let's click on play. I'm Martin, a professional American voice in Murph Studio. Okay, overall, I think he's pretty good. A lot of these are actually very good in my opinion. There's going to be some that might be a little bit slightly more robotic. Uh, Terrell was good. Let's listen to him. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. Right? His is very inspirational, very motivational. If you notice, there was like to start an avalanche. There's a lot of pauses in there for that really deep effect, and there's a lot more meaning. I'll go through a few just so you can get an idea. Too often, advertisements and commercials interrupt consumers' entertainment. Instead, It's a good voice. Let's go with Nate. Nate's pretty good, too. Hi, I'm Nate. I'm one of the friendly and relatable American voices in Murph. He sounds like something you'd see on like a video explainer for software. Let's go with Michelle and Natalie and then we'll go back. Hi, and welcome to our company-wide training video on organizational culture and policy. Hey, last one, Natalie. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with real chicken. Wow, that is perfect. Like. Right when I heard that, I'm like, she sounds something that'd be on a commercial. That is a fantastic voice. Like if you're doing any type of product, uh, we already have one picked out. I believe it was uh, Martin. I like his. His is good. So we have that there. And what we can do is we can change the pitch. We can change the speed. What I want to do is I like speeding it up a little. Uh, obviously, if someone's talking a little bit slower, you know, that's something you can do. You can add pauses to if you want. But for this, I put social media can be a great way to connect with customers, so on and so forth. Heck, you can see that I don't need to read it. But if I wanted to add that there, I can click on the play. But let's just say I wanted to add a little bit more. So I'm going to click on add a block. And what I did is also get a little bit more content. I'm not going to copy and paste all of this. It's just something similar talking about how social media can be a waste of time sometimes. So I'm just going to copy that just to make my life easier. Capitalize because OCD. Okay, so that's going to be there. Once again, the speed is going to be 25%. That's good because you don't want some of it to be like 25% and then just really speed up. So what we can do from here is click on this play button and it's going to generate audio. It's going to take a few seconds or so. It might be like 10, 15 seconds. So I'm probably going to cut through that. But once we do that, it's going to add it down here to our timeline. So allow me to do this and then we'll go from there. All right, so now that we have both of those clips down there, and keep in mind, all I had to do is hit play once here to add it down there. I'm just going to quickly play this, and then I want to show you. We can actually add some music to it if we want as well. So let's click on play. Social media can be a great way to connect with customers and promote your brand, but it's important not to overdo it. Yeah, pretty good. It's very important that I've noticed to have pauses in there like it talked about. As it says, social media can be a great way to connect with your customers and promote your brand. But it's important not to overdo it. Like if there wasn't a comma there, it would have felt a little bit too run on. So punctuation is very important when it comes to this. As we heard with one of the, the person's voice, remember, it was very inspirational. There was a lot of pauses. It was a little slower speaking. So it really goes towards the type of voice you're looking for and how you want them to say things. Like right? I could read this like social media can be a great way to connect with customers. And it's just really fast paced. There's no stopping. Or you could be a little bit more inspirational. Like social media can be a great way to connect with customers and promote your brand. So that's something you probably want to keep in mind. The better idea of a voice you have, not only do you like the sound of the voice, but how do you want it to reflect when someone hears it? Do you want more pauses, emphasis on sp uh, specific words, and so on and so forth? Okay. 
just some food for thought when you're going to be using this. Next, I want to do is just add a little bit of background music just to show you here. Uh, this one's cool. I like this one. But if you go to Murph Library, there's going to be a few that you can choose from based upon some of these. I already have this one here. I liked it. It's kind of like a light, relaxing music. It's going to be in the background. So if I click on this, I can do Add to Timeline. And initially, it's going to be stretched out. So what I want to do is just drag it all the way back. So give me a second. I'm going to cut it out when I do that. I'm just going to match it up so that it ends when the audio does itself. Okay, so there we have it. I just move this down so it ends right around where that does. So if we go back here, what I want to do is move this to the beginning here. And you can hear it from the beginning. So I'm going to let it play, say nothing. And you can hear just like this little section that we created with music in the background. Social media can be a great way to connect with customers and promote your brand, but it's important not to overdo it. Too much social media can actually have a negative effect on your business. Here's why you need to use social media less often. Social media can be a powerful marketing tool, but it can also be a huge time waster. Marketers who spend too much time on social media can quickly find themselves bogged down in unproductive activities. Okay, so there you have it. Now, once we have what we like, obviously, you're probably going to want to add a little bit more. That's going to be up to you when it comes to adding blocks. You can add more paragraphs, more sentences. We're going to click on the export button. And there's a few things you can do here. You can create this as a video, which is going to be MP4 or .mov. You can do just voice only. You can do a single file. You can split by blocks. You can split by sub blocks. If your formats are quality, probably going to want to do high. Or we can do voice and music. Once again, probably going to want to do high. Single file here would be perfect. Channel, really stereo, mono, up to you, quality high. And of course, you would click on download. And that's where you can finally get, say, your MP3 file once it downloads. But all in all, that's a very text to speech tutorial when it comes to using Murph. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am just getting into this. This is really fun. Like I said, I love AI. I love how we're just progressing and moving forward and forward in technology. There's a lot of cool things you can do with it. And there's a lot of features in this. Don't forget that they do come with a free trial. I will put that in the description. So if you can click that, you can follow along and test it out for yourself. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.